Hey, this is uh, Chaplain John Chaplain Chat. We're going to talk a little louder. You're going to hear noise in the background because I'm with a, 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 a Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Hi, right, I'm good. And, uh, normally, we go into the prayer room to okay. do this, but it's, it's some people in there. Gotcha. So this gotcha. and it's cool right here. Yeah. We're at the 210. By the way, 210 is a great place to connect. Mm -hmm. And Taylor, I got this is my personal story with you. I, when I first met you, it was really interesting. And uh, Taylor is the executive director yes. of Love in the Name of Christ or Love Inc. Mm -hmm. And we came over there one time, and it's in Tulare. And we came over, and uh, Gail needed to do something. And so I was kind of, uh, well, I wonder if you're there because yeah. I've not met you or yeah. heard about you. And, and people are kind of. Very excited. And, uh, <laughs> about, no, I think you've got a great ministry. Mm -hmm. It's busy. Anyway, but be as it may. So I went up to your office, and you're sitting on the floor <laughs> with a bunch of junior uh -huh. high school kids. Uh -huh. I'm going, what the heck? Now they're doing some kind of project. Uh -huh. But here's the executive director <laughs> in the middle. sitting on the floor mm -hmm. in the middle. Yep. And I think you're a hands-on executive director. So now... <laughs> What is love in the name of Christ? It's a good question. Okay. Um, a lot of people think we're a thrift store. We have two locations, one on K Street and one on Kern. Um, but and my are, wife works in one. Yes, yes, she, she, does. she does. Yes, she okay, does. Okay. Um, but we are much more than that. It is uh, just a small piece of what we do. Uh, we are kind of an all-encompassing resource center for anyone going through any sort of transition in life whether that be coming out of a recovery program, wow. moving to the area. Wow. Um, you've lost everything you own in a fire. Um, you've had to take in, say, your sister's kids, um, so that way they don't end up in foster care. Um, just kind of depends on what's happening, what's going on. And we want to be kind of that place that you can call for help um for whether that be mattresses for you to sleep on um, a dining room table for a family to share a meal um, that could be resources for food pantries um, reaching out to different churches and entities for help with um, bill pay it's kind of the whole list of whatever could be kind of going on um, if we can't help you ourselves we want to be able to then give you the resources that then you can reach out to or vice versa. Um, we have it where you just call in to simple phone call. Um, we go through an intake process just to see where you're at, who you are, uh, a little bit about your story if you're willing to share. If not, that's okay. We never want to force it. Um, but just kind of see what's going on, whether that uh, your electrical bill needs to be paid. Um, like I said, you need a mattress to sleep on because you're sleeping on the floor. Um, you need food for your kiddos. If you're going to a job interview and you need appropriate clothing, that's what our thrift stores help us with. Um, you can come in and get two complete outfits. So that's a shirt, bottom, undergarment, socks, and shoes, and leave with two complete outfits to go to those job interviews, and hopefully you nail that job. Uh, after you've nailed that job, if you need steel toe boots, scrubs, anything like that, that you suddenly have to come up with the money to be able to get, we can assist you with that. Um, just kind of depends on what's going on. You know, just, I mean, this, Taylor, this is just awesome because we use, when I was a jail chaplain, by mm -hmm. the way, um, when I was talking with inmates, mm -hmm. I said, when you get out, yes. here's who you need to call. Yes. And I would give them the name. Yes. And uh, you, you need volunteers too, don't you? Yes. <laughs> um, so our mission in this effort of providing resources for Tulare County um, is to mobilize the, mobilize the churches by transforming lives. So in our efforts to mobilize the churches yes. by transforming lives. Yes. I know. It's great. Yeah. So in our efforts to transform those lives, loving is not the face that we want them to see. So the church is who we want the people to see. They call us for you know, that initial intake to ask for resources, but we try to turn it over to the church and say, um, this church in that local area, wherever this person lives, hey, there's someone in your area that is in need of a mattress, um, some food assistance, 
Um, they're coming in for some clothing for them and their family, whatever it may be. Um, and then we ask the church to get involved and pick up those items from us and deliver it to the individual or the family. So that way then who's knocking on their door is the church. Um, and so in that effort, we need lots of volunteers, not only in our thrift stores to go through all of our donations that we get that we turn around and put right back into the community, um, or just knocking on their door, delivering whatever the items may be, um, offering to pray with them, offer to listen to their story if they're wanting to talk about it, um, offer for them to come to your church services. Um, you could start small with maybe just a Bible study that you're attending and you just wanna bring them along um, and then invite them to a Sunday service, um, especially the kiddos. We learned that if you get the kids involved, then typically they'll bring their parents with them. So we definitely, especially over the summer, um, VBS camps, wanna invite the kids out to the VBS camps in their area. Oh, quite a few of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. There's still some going on the rest of the summer, so we're trying to get Wow. Um, that kind of going and different things like that but we desperately need a lot of people just even in our call center um, if you're interested in talking to people listening to their story praying with them over the phone because um, that connection is something wow. that we hold very near and dear to our heart especially over the phone that face-to-face -face sometimes is intimidating for people when they're going through a situation regardless of however they got there it sometimes is intimidating um and so not having that face it allows people to open up in a different way um and so we need people to be able to just listen and talk to them and pray with them and taylor you're not going to do this but i will because you're <laughs> because love in the name of christ is not a government run thing no we are uh, a nonprofit. you are a nonprofit. we are a religious so, nonprofit. and you didn't say, and we could use your money. <laughs> but, but I'm going to say, because Gail and I, by the way, uh, of course, we tie to our church. Mm -hmm. But there's other ministries yes. we go, we want to. And you're not asking for that. But I'm saying, folks, <laughs> if you want to know more even about them. Um, well, okay, let's give the phone number. Yes. So our office is 559. Okay, hang on. 559. Yes. Four six seven. Four six seven. Five one six seven. Five one six seven. Yes. Let's do that one more time. Five five, five nine. nine. Four six seven. Four six seven. Five one six seven. Five one six seven. Yes. People, I want to encourage you uh, to uh, connect with them. Find out what they're about. You yes. can call them and say, "Is Taylor around? I'd like to talk to her." Yes. But there's great even. Uh, uh, oh, Tina. Tina. I mean, I mean, you're, you're going to, or any volunteer, you're going to connect with them. But connect with love in the name of Christ. If you're in need, and even us, the body of Christ, how Jesus can use us as the body of Christ by connecting with love in the name of Christ. Yes. God, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll talk thank to you later. You. God bless you guys.